Hi! So today we're gonna do a skincare review and this is pretty fun because we haven't done a skincare review in a while. As you can tell from the title, we're gonna be reviewing Mison's Accents line and that's pretty interesting because I'm like, wow. This is my first real deep dive into like the world of Mizon because I feel like it's a very popular K-beauty brand but I've never really tried anything else other than the snail line. Today we're gonna be looking at their acne sort of like blemish line which is called Accents and I know there might be some of you kind of wondering like why the hell are you using an acne line when you don't have acne? I don't have acne anymore. I used to and I was using these items in March when I was having like a pretty bad breakout. I do get them seasonally so I was testing these out and using these for the whole of March and then when I went to Taiwan in April, I came back and I started using them a little bit more again because you know when you go you know when you go back and forth between countries like your skin just sort of freaks out. So I kind of like hovered back to these for a while. So that's my sort of like duration in using these products. I was actually approached by the retailers of Mizon on Amazon to do this review. So there will be a giveaway only to US viewers. I know, I'm really sorry, I know that most of you are Singaporeans but there are a bunch of, you know, US viewers so if you want a chance to win and I'm guessing the chances are pretty high then stay tuned to the end of this video. Alright, so let's jump into the first thing. This is it. This is the AC Care Solution Accents Blemish Out Pink Spot and this is I think the most sort of popular item that they have from the Accents line. This is something that I know that a lot of people like to use. This sort of concept isn't new. I know a lot of other companies have this like pink drying lotion sort of Yes, I'm referring to Mario Badesco. This sort of like healing calamine pimple spot solution. But the Mario Badesco one, as I was saying, is very expensive. And it's also smaller, I think. So if you want a more affordable option to that, you can definitely consider this. I've actually used quite a lot of it, but you can't tell that I've used a lot of it because of sort of like the double layer. And I want to explain what these double layers do. If you see this for the first time and you're like, oh my god, it's gone bad, it's separated, don't freak out. It's meant to be separated. In fact, if it does get mixed up like this, I'm gonna show you. If it does get mixed up like this, you shouldn't use it, you should wait and then it'll separate again because the pink layer is calamine, so it smells very much like calamine lotion, which is a calming agent. It really like sends and soothes and like tones down the redness and everything else. Calamine in itself is also supposed to sort of help with the mild itchiness and the rashiness and the redness. And this like yellow sort of oil layer consists of AHAs and BHAs in the forms of glycolic acid for AHAs and then salicylic acid for BHAs. Besides the AHAs and BHAs, there's also triclosan. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Dimethyl sulfone and also Coptish Japonica Mechino extract. I don't really know what it is. I know that its botanical extracts are supposed to like fight the acne, sort of prevent it. Dimethyl sulfone is a type of sulfur and as scary as it sounds, sulfur is actually pretty good for your skin in terms of fighting redness and calming it and soothing it. So this is a pretty powerful product all on its own and it does also contain alcohol so I would recommend you not putting it on places that aren't spots. Like just put it directly directly on the spot which is why I go in with a cotton bud and as you can probably imagine the first thing your cotton bud touches is the yellow layer and then the pink layer and then the yellow layer again so the head of your cotton bud is calamine like cushioned with this yellow liquid so from what I can understand this yellow bit is supposed to be the one that fights acne and it's supposed to be pretty harsh because of all the acids and everything and then the calamine lotion is supposed to calm it down so you want a good mix of both you want to apply it straight up don't worry if it gets a little messy here because definitely that's what happened to mine i just sort of apply it to my spots i let it sit it stings like a bitch sometimes i'm not gonna lie it really does hurt in my opinion it like hurts so good but you know some people might not really like that kind of feeling so if you want to go in with makeup if you want to go in with more skincare you can sort of layer up with different skincare and probably makeup but if the pink thing sort of annoys you you can always dab to blend it in or you can sort of remove it with water after like maybe 10 to 15 minutes one good thing i've noticed about a pink spot is that it still allows for your pimples to kind of breathe you can sort of like dab it and bake it and make it like pretty heavy but at the end of the day you're not sort of suffocating it so i always apply this at night so i don't have to worry about like you know taking it off or anything like that and 
then in the morning, I sort of wash it off and it does dry out your pimple, but it also sort of combats the redness and it sort of cleans it out in a very antibacterial sort of way. So I find that it's effective. My only thing is that this packaging, if you want to travel with it, first of all, you need to wait until this separates. As you can tell just now, I shook it. Now it's still sort of separating and this may leak. So just be careful with that. You don't want to be in a situation where it will leak. So I don't know how friendly it is for traveling, but if you're traveling, I have another option which is coming right up. So this is the Bye Bye Pimple Patch and this is a hydrocolloid dressing. Now, if you've known, you know, Cosa Rex, etc., Dr. Belma, you know that I have had my experience with hydrocolloid dressings. And I want to say straight up, if you think that all these dressings are the same, I would actually say not really because this is the one that I enjoy the most. Of all the hydrocolloid dressings I have and the patches I have, I'm always going back to this. And as you can tell, right, I've already used half of it. For the smaller pimples I had, I actually put on the pink spot and I just like called it a day. But for the really big ones, especially with white heads or like whatever it is, like you know, those things that you can just accidentally like sort of scratch your face and then like pull and then tear the skin. Or if you accidentally pop it in your sleep sort of thing, you want a hydrocolloid dressing. And I found that it works really, really fantastic. So hydrocolloid is actually sodium carboxyl methyl cellulose. And what this does is basically drag out all of the pus and all of the sebum and the whiteheads from your pimple. And this is only possible if it's already surfaced, if it's sort of there, you know those kinds that you can like you know, push and then it'll like be gross, but oddly satisfying. So what I really like about this is just how thoughtful it is and how convenient it is and how effective it is. Because a lot of the other brands, I feel like sometimes the sticker falls off on its own, especially when it's absorbed, like the oil and the sebum around the side and then it just sort of peels off or it moves after putting moisturizer or something else like that. So this actually has the hydrocolloid in the middle and then on the rim, it's actually a bandage. So what it does is it really adheres to your skin and I find that it does a very good job even with like serum underneath. I usually put serum first or just like a little bit of spot treatment and then I put the sticker on and then I go in with my moisturizer and I feel like this doesn't budge as much as like any other brand would. And also I find that it's not as visible as all the others tend to be. I think a lot of the others tend to be very thick but this one is just very thin and very nice and it's a very good sort of size as well. It fits big pimples, small pimples. Instead of having like two different sizes, one is too small, one is too big sort of thing. So you see you can tear it like this to open it so that you don't have to sort of scrape around the edges and then possibly create like a like a nick in the side which makes it very easy to pull out. So it seems very lame to be such a big fan of these pads but I really am. I think they're very very smart and like very easy to use and very effective. Alright moving on we have the AC Care Solution Accents Blemish Spot Solution Serum and when I first got it I'm not gonna lie, I actually emailed them back and I was like, dude, this smells so much like alcohol. I'm very scared. I don't dare to put it on my face. I went to look at the ingredients. After water, the second thing is alcohol and I was freaked out. There have been a lot of conflicting reports on whether alcohol is good in your skincare products. And upon my research, I found that alcohol actually helps like sanitize and make sure that the product is clean and it also sanitizes your skin, but it can cause a lot of dryness in already dry skin. So if you have very sensitive skin, if you have very dry skin, I would not recommend you using this product at all. Some of the other watery serums I have and I use all the time actually do have a bit of alcohol in them and it's never broken me out. So I would say that if it doesn't break you well and if you already have stuff that has alcohol in it, it's okay but just something to take note. This is formulated with the Act Natural sort of formula. It's like this special patented specifically for like acne prevention, you know, acne management sort of blemished base which means that there are a lot of calming botanical ingredients inside as well as like alcohol as well as I would say like almost a lemony smell. I don't know if there's lemon actually. Wait, let me see. So there's citrus lemon fruit extract and there's also citrus grandis grapefruit peel oil. This is meant for the prevention and relief of acne, especially redness, small angry spots. I didn't realize that when they said spot solution serum, they actually mean spot solution serum. I thought it was just like a spot solution name serum, which is why I put it all over my face and I still sort of do. I almost forget sometimes, but it does recommend you to only put where your problem areas are. So that also explains the high alcohol percentage. But for me, I put it all over my face. I think it's fine.
fine. And because I do get hormonal acne and I know at the time of the month like which time I have acne, when I start feeling a little bit of it, especially this area, it tends to get congested very easily. I just put this on and it does seem to work. It's allegedly like multiple dermatologists tested but I can't say for sure. I can't find the research but I will tell you now that I have never had irritated skin or I've never had like a breakout from this. If anything, I do feel like it calms it down. I wouldn't say it's super effective. It's a miracle product but whenever I use this, I feel like my acne is not as angry or it doesn't come out as much. It's sort of just like keeps it chill, you know what I mean? And it's also very very light so I like to layer this up with the moisturizer that I'll get into in a bit and other like calming and healing ingredients. This is also an oil-free formula so anyone with really oily skin or skin with easily clogged pores, you can also use this in the day without worry and this was actually what I was using in the day for a while because it's so light. Honestly, I think I'm almost done with it so yeah, this was actually a very pleasant surprise for me. I really thought that I was gonna not like it and I really didn't want to put it on my face but you know, it worked, so hey. Speaking of, this is the AC Care Solution Accents Blemish Control Soothing Gel Cream. And as you can probably tell by the name, it's a gel cream, which is very, very interesting. I would say it's more of a gel, but it's a little bit more hydrating than a gel. So that's why I'm guessing it's called a gel cream. It is also oil-free, so it doesn't clog your pores. It doesn't sort of like sit heavily on your skin. And I love using this in the day. All the clips you're seeing of me applying the products is actually today. Like I literally just applied it. It. so you can see on my skin this is how it looks I didn't powder my skin at all this is targeted towards troubled skin you know skin that already has like bumps sort of angry pimples redness acne prone skin and it does have a lot of like hydration sort of moisture factors and a lot of like acne treatment ingredients so it balances the oil and moisture levels in your skin and also prevents your skin from getting too dry or too sensitive so I really quite enjoy it as well but again like I said the the alcohol factor is super high. Oh, yeah. I feel like I could almost get a little bit drunk smelling this. Like, that's how high it smells. It's going on your entire face and it's supposed to be a gel cream. So, like, I don't know. But also, at the same time, alcohol is really good for, like, antibacterial sort of sanitizing properties. So, I get it. But then, why is it in a tub? Do you know what I mean? Like your fingers sort of double dip and as you can tell I went in with two fingers I don't use a spatula because it's so watery that it doesn't really sit on the spatula anyway and to be fair my hands were clean but like at the end of it when you've dipped so many clean hands into it you know it's just it doesn't really make sense to me after you let it sit for like 10 minutes you don't smell it anymore thank god can you imagine smelling like alcohol the whole day? Hoo -hoo. Your boss or your teacher is gonna be like you know, so I'm glad. And while it does go away and while it doesn't irritate my skin, I just don't know how it's gonna be like on your skin or someone else's skin. And I feel like some people might mind the smell of alcohol more than it would for me. So I just, you know, heads up kind of thing. This has a combination of penicillin and rosemary for like anti-inflammatory purposes. And also papaya extract and rose extract for skin protection. And then also for the moisturizing factors, you have hyaluronic acid, birch tree sap, which is also a calming ingredient and glycerin. So I just don't know why there's so much alcohol in it. I feel like this would be a really, really great formula if it wasn't so heavy in alcohol and it doesn't have any other scent to sort of like counteract it, which I'm happy about. It doesn't clog my pores. I feel like it's not the most hydrating, but it's also not the least hydrating. You know, there are some that are like really heavy and absolutely do nothing. This is quite light and it's okay in the moisturizing factor, but I wouldn't necessarily pick this up again. So I would say of all of the products, maybe this this is my least favorite. I just don't know how I feel about it. I don't find myself gravitating towards this as much because for the other serum and the spots, for example, I can use them at night. But this one, I can only use this in the day. So make of that what you will. I really don't know how to tell you how to live your life, live your truth. I don't know. So that's it for the review of the Maison Accents line. I hope you guys found it interesting, helpful. If you do suffer from acne prone skin or like blemished skin or if you just need like a couple of like spot treatments, I do highly recommend them. I do like them a lot because they're affordable and because they do sort of help the situation and it doesn't make it worse. Hmm. Why? Why they got alcohol on You know what I'm saying? Hopefully when they do release like newer sort of accents products, we may see like a slight decrease in alcohol or maybe a reformulation so it doesn't smell as much. But yeah, 
that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more reviews, let me know what brands you want me to review. You can leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to click the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I make new videos twice a week, sometimes once a week if I can. So you may also want to click the bell button, turn that post notifications on in case you want to catch my videos hot off the press. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Just, I still don't know how to sign off properly.